Hi, welcome back. Now, Module 8, Financial Independence. Now, I know that you have done the work that we've been talking about throughout this entire course, that you have journals filled with finding out what things mean to you, what beliefs you have, what your values are. And we're going to talk in Lesson 2 here about financial independence and what it truly means to you. Now, you are going to define financial independence. I'm not going to define it for you because you're going to live it, you're going to share it, and you're going to grow it. But it all comes down, again, to you. It's your definition, not mine. It's easy for me to define it for you. That would be great. But what have I done for you? I have not taught you to fish. I've given you a fish, so you need to define it. You need to pull your journal out. You need to define why, how, and what it means to be financially independent. Hopefully you've gathered a lot of thoughts and a lot of information throughout this course, but now it's time to start doing the work because this has been nice, but even in all motivation fields, people say go see you know, Zig Ziglar, they'd go see Brian Tracy, they'd go see the great motivators of the world, and you know what? It has an impact for about 72 hours on average. 72 hours. People leave jumping off their feet, ready to go, ready to make all the changes in life. It has a 72-hour impact. What I don't want to have happen is to have a 72-hour impact from this course. I want you to realize that this is only the beginning. This is commencement. We've given you a lot to chew on. We've given you a lot to be serious about. But you need to do the work. Okay? And this is why financial independence is going to be defined by you. So, what it means to you. What's important about money to you? Peel down. Remember, we said you got to go 10, 11 tiers down. What's important about money to you? When you ask that question, you'll get something. So let's say that you ask somebody, what's important about money to you? And they say security. Okay, next question. What's important about security to you? And they say, I don't know, comfort. You say, great. What's important about comfort to you? Keep peeling down because ultimately when you get down 10, 11 layers, you're going to get to a true value. You're not going to get a true value off the top. It doesn't happen. You've got to dig deep. You've got to get below the surface because you want to get connected to your beliefs and values. Now, why? Why is the massive major question of all. Why is your driving force? Why is motivational based? Why has the motives attached to it? Too many people think it's about money. If I've done anything throughout this entire course, I hope that I have left you with the understanding that it's not all about money. Of course, money is a portion of everything that we do. Money, again, is neither good nor bad. It's neutral. But you can't chase money. Chasing money will only repel it. You need to have a why. And that why needs to be on just money. Money is not enough to drive you. Because sooner or later, you'll have more money than you want. You'll have more money than you need. And then what's going to drive you? It can't be about the money. But you'll never get to that point anyway. Because trust me, as you chase the money, I've done this in my life in my younger years, you're going to repel money. The harder you chase it, the further away from you it gets. You may have experienced that already. So money can't be the motive. Your passion, your desire your legacy, your service, and your relationships. Those need to be your motives. Those need to be the foundation that builds you and drives you. Now, the bucket list, I like to say, is for mediocre people. Okay? I know you're going to say, oh, my God, Carl, what, what are you talking about? A bucket list, think about it. A bucket list is very mediocre because where are you living at this moment in time? You're alive now, right? You've got your past, you've got your present, you've got your future. Okay? Other than where you are at this moment, is anything promised to you? Of course you can think about the future, of course you can plan for the future, but are you promised the future? No, you're not. You're not promised the next breath. Therefore, your past, your present, and your future, all parts of you, but you can only deal with the present, the right now. So even though why you exist in those three dimensions, which one do you think is the most important one? It's got to be now. It can't be the future, and it certainly can't be the past, because if you're looking in the rearview mirror, it's why you're probably not being successful as you should be. 
So you, it's got to be now. So you need a now list. You don't need a bucket list. You need a now list. You want to do something? Do it now. You want to go somewhere? Go now. Okay? Not this moment. You know, now is within a week, 10 days. I don't know. But you need to plan a now list. So think in terms of what can happen to you right now. Think in terms of the work you can get done right now. Get that journal out and start digging deep. Work down what's important about money to you. Let's get down to that belief and value system as we're moving through the end of the course. Let's really get down there and do the work if we haven't done it yet. I'll see you in the next lesson.